YouTube opinionated review. I bring you guys a video on Weblock web screen. It's in the big box, we bought for two bucks, and basically what it allows you to do is browse the internet uh, via your lock screen. You don't even have to move off your lock screen. You guys can see I have my slide to unlock there. That's my picture frame button and my clock up to the top, but it looks different because there's actually a website here, and I could actually just go ahead and browse through this website just like if I was using a regular browser, which is kind of cool. Now, <clears throat> now, if you use your web browser a lot, you don't like going into your um, device to use your web browser. This is a nice tweak for you. If you don't, like me, I don't really hardly use mine, then it's pointless. But yeah, so let's go ahead and talk more about the tweak. First of all, whenever every time you unlock your device and you come back out to the lock screen, it loses the web page you are on. No matter if I hit go, if I hit go up here. It's not gonna thing. So yeah, you gotta go ahead and re-enter that website every single time. So you're not gonna be on the page you are on, which kind of sucks. And I'm sure that can be easily fixed. Secondly, if you every time you change your device from landscape to portrait mode, or if it was in portrait mode first and you change it to landscape mode, you're gonna have uh, you're gonna realize you see your wallpaper and it doesn't actually adjust. So yeah, that's something I guess can be fixed as well. For me, my Google search button, my Google search doesn't work. I can stay here and try to search Google all day. That doesn't work for me. You can use this button down here. Let me see. Yes, this button down here to go ahead and go into full screen mode. So you can see my none of my lock screen elements are there. My slide to unlock nor my top bar is there. You can touch it again to come out of lock full screen mode. This button brings up a menu right here. You can go ahead and copy link, download file. Doesn't work for me. And open in Safari. And you can also click source, I guess, to see the source of the web page. And I don't even understand what that is. So, yeah, probably programmers will understand what that is. It's a nice concept and stuff. The only thing you have to enable, which it's enabled by default, the only settings is uh, enable or de disable button. So you don't even have to configure anything. You just go ahead and install it and fire it up. And, oh, yeah, I forgot to mention this button up here. Let me go ahead and go back to my website again. See how annoying that is having to keep on doing that. This increases and decreases the font size. You guys can see the font size is changing right there. So yeah, pretty cool. It's not for me. I always say different strokes for different folks. I don't know if it's worth two bucks. I don't know how long the developer worked on it. I don't make prices. I just make freaking videos. So yeah, guys, as I said, it's called a lock web, web screen. It's in the big box people for two bucks. It's a matter of preference if you want to get or not. With that being said, please rate, comment, subscribe. Have a nice day. Make sure you show that thumbs up button some love. And if you aren't subscribed, what are you waiting on? Hit the subscribe button above. Like my Facebook fan page and follow me on Twitter. I answer questions a lot faster on Twitter than I do on YouTube. Oh yeah, and check out my previous video if you haven't already.